welcome back to Butthurt in World of Tanks. Here you're gonna have uh, another lovely message presented at the end of this battle and explain what exactly happened. But for now let me introduce to you the hero of our episode. Here is Jack Killer. Jack Killer PL playing his chieftain. And this is clearly ideal setup for someone who is playing with this tank. He's top tier against tier 8 and you can see here by uh, looking at the WN8 ratings of the players he's actually gonna have like you're looking at it and you, you, you clearly can see who's gonna win <laughs> this is the charm of, of matchmaker in world of tanks but uh, we're just gonna keep ignoring that because this is not all about that this is the fact about this game I'm getting pissed off about it and a lot of other players getting pissed off about it many times and here on top of it he's playing in my opinion with tier 11 tank well, on an official tier 11 tank there's three of them at least in in my opinion there is a, this chieftain there is the famous Ebola and there is object 907 and here yeah first time it's, it came to happen that Jack Killer will be using his gun he shot up the butt this chariot here trying to run away from this situation because they thinking to themselves oh fk here is chieftain coming to rape me from the back and he did <laughs> he did um, it, well, i mean jack killer he did receive the shot from that uh, 50 tp prototype Polish premium tank it was basically lurking there in the bushes but look at this situation I think this will explain the ridiculousness of this tank what this uh, 50 TP can do in this situation well can YOLO try to flank this mobile heavy tank at the end of the day maybe he can load HE and just damage the chieftain in this way he's shooting it in a turret or trying to shoot him on the side but so far he's failing to penetrate it two times already and he's um, reduced to pretty much one shot by Jack and his allies and it looks like that's the end so yeah I, I kind of feel sorry for this guy <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, nothing he could do. He was just thinking to himself, uh, FFS, what can I do? I'm playing here with tier 8, legitimate heavy tank against tier 11, so yeah, I'm just just, just gonna get pissed off, but I can't blame him. But that, that's just the first kill committed by Jack Killer. And he's looking for more look I've told you that this battle will be very very quick you can see that uh, it's 9-1 I think this is one of the examples of how matchmaker is broken in this game where random near players are put into the teams that one of them has no chance at all and the second of them is just way overpowered with the tanks and with the players I mean the players are actually a big problem hey WK30 German premium genuine light tank just basically decided to shot once before heading to the garage and now this mobile tank destroyer British tank destroyer will he gonna be able to escape from heavy tank no he would not be able to escape from this heavy tank <laughs> and that's it the battle is over yeah, I'll meet you in the garage so we can talk about the results and the lovely message. Certainly not top performance by someone who is playing tier 11 tank, 3,500 damage. Still decent, I would say. Uh, definitely good job by uh, this conqueror and Panzia underscore line 26, who pretty much done almost a thousand more than tier 11 tank in tier 9 tank. And um, I just want to check how long this battle lasted for. Four minutes and five seconds. Hmm. That tells you something, I believe. And, uh, well, despite of that not super performance, it caused some issues to some people. Um, let's dive into the message right away. The villain from last battle is the Grand underscore line 82, who sends to Jack Killer, ironically, 
GG Wink message and uh, Jack Killer was actually very nice. I wouldn't be so nice. He replied to the grand Happy New Year. And discussion continued. Uh, the Grand explain had to pull against tier 10 with tier 8 and retard teams. Yes, the Grand, I agree with you and I sympathize with you. You've been screwed over by Matchmaker, not by Jack Killer. Well, and by Wargaming, who basically designed the kind of tanks like uh, Chieftain. Yes, you couldn't do anything in that battle. I've been there. Though the one thing I haven't been doing is basically sending middle fingers to the players that use game mechanics in the way they are intended to and they're designed to be used. So next time just just deal with your butt hurt in a more dignitative way. That's my advice for future. Jack Killer, thank you very much for sending me this video and uh, whoever haven't subscribed yet to this channel, please do for now. Rate this video up or down, leave the comment if you have something to say about it, and, well, stay strong. Until next battle, bye-bye.